What's up guys, I am of course your favorite designer, Miklas Clark. This is design vlog number 2 and today we are going to look at the difference between an artist and a graphic designer. Alright guys, so someone sent me a message on social media asking me if I was a graphic designer or if I was just an artist. Now my answer to that person was that I am both a graphic designer and an artist, right? So after giving it some thought, I decided to make a video on the difference between a graphic designer and an artist. Alright, so even though there are similarities between a graphic designer and an artist, there is a slight difference between the two. Both are creative people and both are visual communicators. So what are the differences? Let's look at the definitions. Art is expressing your creative skills and imagination typically in a visual form. An artist generally creates for himself and allow you to see the world through his eyes. Most of the times an artist is not managed nor manipulated by the client. They instead manipulate your vision through their creative skills and imagination or whatever it is that inspires them to create. They generally focus on projects like comics, cartoons, murals and sculptures. Just the name of you. Now, graphic designers solve problems, typically for a client or for a company. They are generally experts or specialists in certain graphical styles or skills. For example, typography, logo design, UI and UX design, web design, illustration and character design. Graphic designers produce work for different advertising purposes. For example, billboards, signs and vehicle wraps. They generally produce high quality work with production in mind. Now, there are a lot of people that can do art but they can't design. As well as there are a lot of people that can design but they struggle to do art. In my opinion, a true creative should be able to do both art and design, and they should know the differences and the similarities between the two. I hope I made it much clearer for you guys and I answered a few questions, right? So now I want you to hit the subscribe button and share this information with your friends. Don't keep the knowledge to yourself. You should find yourself a niche that you are passionate about and double down on it. Find some creative ways of displaying your art and stick to it. Give variety and push yourself to raise the bar every single day. So in closing, I would like to say, the labels we assign to ourselves can either liberate us or break us. The things we choose to believe shapes our reality. In my next video, I'll be talking about your belief system and how it affects your success. So stick around for more lessons on becoming a better you.